Imagination here. So today in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a dog collar right here out of paracord. I got my dog here, Juicy. He'll be wearing this collar and he looks pretty cool in it, doesn't he? Let's take a look at this collar. It looks great. Now, if you want to know how to make this dog collar, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so here's all the things you need to make your dog collar. You will need two pieces of paracord that are 10 feet each. I have a silver one, a black one with silver dots, a lighter, then I have um, a bit of measuring tape. You have a D-ring. Well, it's not a D-ring, but I recommend using one of these. I have a keychain ring. Um, you're also going to need a buckle. As you can see, this is a buckle. Um, this is a one inch buckle. You can use something smaller than that, just a bit like a three fourth inch buckle. That would do. Then a pair of fids right here to finish off your weave. And that is all you're gonna need to make your dog collar. So let's get started. All right, so the first step is you're gonna have to melt these two different color paracords together. So we're just gonna start by lighting and melting this one. There we go, we got it going. I'm just gonna melt it a bit. And uh, yeah, it is melting, don't worry. We're gonna do the other one. And my lighter didn't really work too well, so now I'm gonna use a pair of matches. And uh, so yeah, matches work a lot more efficient. I can trust the matches to do the job. So and I'm just melt, uh, melt them a bit like that. And now we're gonna roll them up so that they're together like so there we go now we just melted melted the two together and that's how it looks like so the next thing is you're going to go and measure the circumference of your dog's neck for our collar and using your measuring tool and um i figured that it was 12 inches but i'm going to add an extra inch because the thickness of our bracelet will increase as we start you know making it all right so now we have something called a jig out here it's just to help us straighten out our paracord to make our collar so it just helps hold it and straighten it out and we can tighten it even better using our jig so yeah you can just if you don't have a jig uh, you can just do it by hand, but you'll need something to hold it down. So you can use some sellotape to hold your buckles down or whatever you have. So we're going to start out by putting this piece of paracord up through like this. And just put it through. And now you're going to have this, the rest of your paracord, just coming through up like that. Like so. like that and now you're just going to pull it down like so and you're just going to pull it tight like that make sure it's really tight because you don't want this thing to come apart so like that now you're going to find uh, the bottom of your paracords here you can just see so we have them, and now we're just going to pull them through, down like that. Like that, we got the first one, now let's pull down the whole second one. like that and now we should have something pretty tight or loosen it up if it's just enough so yeah you're just gonna have a little bit loose like that now we're just gonna pull both of them up like that and next thing you're gonna do is on the gray side we're just gonna push that one up through like this and go down and then just pull it out to the side There you go. So we got the gray side all tight. Now we can start doing the weave. Now I'm just going to start by 
going like uh, over the first one. Here, just take a look. Over the first one, under the second two, and then over the fourth, like that. So, I'm just going to pull all the way through, like that. So, you, you just went over, under, under, over. So, yeah, with paracord, you do have patterns. And the next one is you're going to go from below, under, over, over. Hold on, let me just put, pull this through. And then you're going to go over this one. You're just going to go like that and underneath your last one like that. So you're basically, on the second one, you're going under, over, over, under. So you just reverse the pattern. Here, let me just show you so you can get it. Like that. And now you're just going to pull it tight and pull it up. Pull it a little bit farther up like that. And every time you make a new pattern, you keep pulling it up. I know it looks nothing like the thumbnail you just saw. It doesn't look like a trilobite. I know, be patient because you're just going to see it getting tighter and tighter and we're going to have more weaves. So again, we do over, under, under, over. Like that. Next we do on the second, on the silver one, or on the right side, remember you always go like this through this gap here. You go under, over the two, and then under again. Once you're about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these trilobite weaves uh, far out from the beginning, uh, you're going to start out by placing one of your rings in there, but you can't just place it in there. You're going to want to do something like this, so let me just show you. When you pass through like that, just make sure you pass through the ring as well. So you're basically going like this. I don't know if you get it, but you just got to go under like that. You see, now you have your ring in here, and you have to want to make sure it sticks out somewhere like that, closer to one of your buckles. So, yeah, you can even do this at the end or somewhere closer to the beginning. Main, the main thing is that it's closer to your buckle. Now, you have your gray one, right? And again, your pattern where you go under, over, over, and when you go over, over, you see, you're going to bring this up through here, like that. Now, this is my technique, my way of doing it. I'm sure many other people out there know how to do it their way. But this is my way, so I'm just going to go under, like that. Again, you do the same pattern, except at those points, you got to weave your thing through, like that. And now you're going to make sure it sticks up, otherwise this is a fail. Alright, so this is what I'm down to so far. I'm just finishing the last three um, weaves uh, of the trilobite, and this is what we're up to. Uh, we're going to now take our fids, and we're just going to screw them on. This is called a fid, if you didn't know. And these are just uh, to help us go through the holes, because it'll become a lot tougher if you don't have one of these. I'm sure you're going to find other ways to do it if you don't have a fid. And now we're going to start by weaving. So again, our pattern will go over, under, under, over. Pass like that. And it is much faster finishing off these. 
and using your black one, you're just gonna go like this. All right, so here we have our dog collar, and we're just gonna finish off the last step. You're simply just gonna need a pair of scissors, a lighter, and also any kind of steel object that you can just round and smooth enough your, your melt. So we're gonna start out by cutting, see this off right here? So cut one of them off, that, then your other one. There you go. Now we're gonna start by melting. Here, let me show you melting this off. So as you can see, what I just done a little bit off camera is I started to light this thing and I used the back of my butter knife and I just smoothened it off and this is not going anywhere. That is solid, all melted together. We have one more though left. This is our silver one and uh, we're just going to melt it a little bit. Melt it and the distance so that we don't burn anything. I don't know if you guys can really see, but that's pretty good. And now you just gotta rub it, smooth it up, smooth it up, like so. And there you go. So now let's try this uh, dog collar on my dog, Juicy. He's pretty happy today, so let's just clip it on. Oh, I can't see. All right, let's just clip it on like this. It's okay. There you go, that's how it looks like. All right, let's turn it this way. So here's a little uh, clip, you know, or ring right here. And it looks pretty cool. Do you see? Alright guys, so that is about it for this video showing you how I made a dog collar for my dog Juicy. Now if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit this video a like, comment, and subscribe as usual. Thanks for watching guys! See you next week! Peace!